Hello there, um, this is basically a short video to show off a grass shader that I made in UDK which uh, pretty much makes the grass ripple in the direction of a wind actor. Apologies if you can't hear me particularly well, it's mainly because I don't have a headset and I currently have a rock band microphone stuck down my neck. So yeah, if, if you hear gurgling noises that, that it's not me being attacked or anything, it's genuinely just a crap microphone signal. Right, if I stop being a moron and open the file, there you go. Thanks, Michael Giacchino. Right, uh, basically, this is the shader which was applied onto the terrain. I've also got some uh, UDK stock banana plants in here just because they also use the information from the wind actor. As you can see, they blow with the wind. If I just grab this and rotate it, you see the textures also rotate. I've got a similar sort of material to the grass with this arrow, obviously without the riffles, which just orientates itself in the direction of the wind. So if I rotate that, you can see it looks all very nice and everything. So if I double click this, go to the wind directional source properties, I can also change the speed and obviously that affects the plant life and it also affects the speed of the ripples. If I up the speed to something stupid like 10, though it does look a little bit off, but the good thing about that is I've got a parameter group set up so I can actually change the material instance to better deal with that. I'll just open up the content browser just get to my grass materials right okay pretty much to make this look a bit nicer we want the uh, the ripples to slow down slightly on the speed and them to spread out a bit more so we go to overall wave scale we'll make this 0.2 okay try 0.1 or 0.1 there you go and speed that We'll speed that down. Yeah, I'm learning English speak. Wave speed multiplier, there we go. Change that to 0 0.2. I knew one of them was 0 0.2. Uh, maybe not. 0 0.1. There you go, it looks a bit better as you can see. Obviously the wind's a bit faster as you can see by these trees and it's rippling over the landscape a bit more. Put this back to one. And these back to default. I've got uh, parameters for lerp intensity, so that's pretty much the intensity of the blend between the ripples. If I put this up to 1.5, okay, that's not 1.5, that's 0 0.5, 1.5, it's, it's, it's a lot heavier and it tends to overdrive the values a bit and underdrive them, which is a term I just made up. If I put this up to something like 5, which, yeah we'll get like a crazy ass disco effect which is a little bit mental so best to keep that within uh, within the 1.5 scale i should say put that back to one overall wave scale self-explanatory got that put it to one it should be one on a static mesh but at the moment because it's on terrain terrain likes to uh have texture coordinates a bit funny compared to static meshes, so I, I put it down a bit to 0 0.1. Texture coordinate macro, that's pretty much your large detail, that's your main texture. Micro is, in this case, it's the same texture again, but um, blended in at a different scale. Uh, tiling multiplier, self-explanatory, again, because of the, uh, the terrain, usually it'll be set to one, but terrain likes to make things look a bit off when you apply the same materials to them. So I put that down to 0 0.1. Wave speed, self-explanatory. Wavelength large, wavelength medium, wavelength small. Um, those pretty much are the different waves that are blended into one another because you see it's not just a single wave, it's quite a few layered on top of each other. I'll show you the main material now. So if I go to this one, it's not the one that's on the landscape, but it's the one that I Oh, wait, it is the one that's on the landscape. 
so it should be a bit easier to uh, show off just the usual material for static meshes. See, there's the wind speed, which is the alpha out of the wind direction speed actor. So that controls the speed of the sine waves. We've got large, medium, small, blending into one another. Then there's a height mask, which is in the diffuse textures. That pretty much just makes the blend between waves not so uniform. It, it just makes it look a bit nicer, I suppose. Um, I see they all blend, blah, 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 into where you'd expect. I've got the, this is the thing that actually rotates the texture. Well, this is the main thing that rotates the texture in the direction of the wind. I've got wind direction speed actor, as you'd, as you'd imagine. The node is split into red and green, which is X and Y respectively. If I open up this custom node, essentially it is an equation that converts vectors into degrees. So I've got the Y and X, which is the G and R. That goes into there. Magic happens, comes out as degrees. I have to invert the result. I can't remember why, but I did. And then it's slightly off. It's not, it's not exactly orientated. Oh, hang on, I'll get up a better example. Yeah. It's not exactly orientated with the wind at this point. It's off by about 45 degrees for some reason, if you look at the uh, texture sample here. So if I subtract 45 from the degrees and put that into the time, the speed of which of this rotator is one. Yeah, if I put that into the time, it should orientate it in the right direction. Just show you, that's what the texture looks like normally. Plug the rotator into it, and it's a slight change, I suppose. I should probably make that a bit more accurate. But essentially, the only thing that's going to make this rotate is the wind direction speed. So. Just have another look at that. It's a nice effect. I've got a little bump offset going there. Put the speed up. So yeah, I hope that's uh, that's all right. <laughs> Hopefully, um, some people have got some better grass materials. I mean, my texture isn't the best in the world, but it's the shader essentially that's it's the the function of it that ties in with the wind speed actor which is the main purpose of this exercise. Obviously, as you can see, you don't really want to have wind moving while your map is running. You just want the wind to face one direction for the entire duration. Otherwise, the texture tends to rotate in a really weird way. So yeah, I hope that's uh, helpful and someone can use that to a particularly impressive effect. Thanks for watching for this eight and a half minutes. I apologize for making that so long.